Hello everybody, this is Total War Titan. Thank you for stopping by today. Today we are doing a survival mode Minecraft world. Alright, so yeah. Ooh, that's pretty cool. That'll be nice. Alright, so we have a pretty good spawn here, but I'm not going to go over much um, about the initial like background and stuff, because survival mode, you have a lot to get done in your first couple minutes. I'll go over that stuff in a bit. First, let's get wood. Alright, so punching out the wood. Alright. And we've almost cut this entire tree down. Not a bad amount of wood either. Let's plant a sapling there. Now we got... Now this is both a blessing and a... I mean, a blessing and a curse. Alright. It's really awesome. It's locate... I mean, the fact that it is here. But it's also really dangerous. Despite all the exposed ore, there's also... Well, a long drop that could, that is almost certainly lethal. We might be able to use that waterfall later, but for now let's ignore it until we have basic necessities. So we have wood, now let's get the crafting table. And some sticks. One more thing should be enough. Place said crafting table. Alright, now we need our weapons and tools. So first thing, our pickaxe, our, well, axe then pickaxe, because you need to be able to defend yourself. A shovel, a hoe. Alright, and that should be it. So now we take up, pick up the pickaxe. So now we have the tools, now we need to figure out shelter. And I'm thinking, there's an extreme hills biome over there, across the river. Why do I always spawn by rivers? I'm thinking we swim across, find a cave, or some exposed coal ore, and turn that into our home, before we try to take on this ravine. Although I do see exposed iron, that's going to be very helpful. But we are not ready to take it on yet, so let's get across this river, and see what we can find. Alright. Just because. So, first things first. I heard a drown. Ah, there is a drown. Alright, I'll have to worry about those guys. First things first, we need to get up this hill. The only thing I'm worried about is a lack of wood. I might have to climb that down. I hear a spider. It could be good, it could also be bad. Yeah, there's definitely water up here, so we'd be able to, we'll be able to farm, that's certain. That's a pretty full cool overhang. I can't tell what's behind that waterfall. But, uh, yeah, so I saw some exposed coal ore. Let's get that for our light. Then we can get shelter. You know, while I'm at this, let's get a better pickaxe so we don't have to use the stupid wood one because. The wood one is absolutely trash, and you can get the better one within five seconds of spawning. Well, not five seconds of spawning. Five minutes of spawning. In fact, I've gotten it done in three minutes of spawning. So, we're probably going to burn that old pickaxe. And it mines a coal much faster. Now, unfortunately, this exposed coal is not a good location to set up a base yet. We need to move on. Alright, sorry about that, um, my thing is kind of not cooperating as much as I would like it to. I might pause during the video to get it cleaned out, but you shouldn't see any of it because of the fact that I'm going to edit it right out. That might be a good starter base, uh, it's a downhill slope down into a cliff. That would be a good thing to work on, we should definitely take a look at that. But, over here, this would be better, in my opinion, for a long-term base. Look at it. You could easily seal this off. Look at it. It's ready-made. You could seal it off. You have a nice overhang with the sky. Uh, just seal that off with a cobble wall or something. And, yeah. So, we'll make a base in that... We'll make a starter shelter in that one thing, but we're not going to stay in it. Now, of course, we're going to get the cobble. This is where our fortress is going to be. All 
Alright, so let's just mine the... Did I remember to pick up my pickaxe? My, my crafting table. Yes, I did. Good. If I had forgotten, I'd be furious. Alright, we got it all. We have all our coal ore. Now let's start making the base. Now for this, I'm just thinking a simple room carved out of the mountain. Alright, we're not going to do much with it. We might turn it into a little treasure vault later on for our stuff, but not until we have need for it. Now, this mountain, unfortunately, I haven't seen any trees, so we're going to have to go down the mountain to get some more wood and saplings. But for now, we need the base at least usable. Alright, there, we have our base. So now we need to go through, after I figure out how to get up, thank goodness for shovels. Alright, just place the dirt right there. How long will we go? Now we need to figure out how to get back down and across the river to those trees over there. Or, yeah, I could go right down. I would have to worry about Mr. Ground over there. But, go down and just hopefully don't hit anything on the way down. It worked. Yeah, so we need to get some trees now. Now, I know a lot of you are yelling at me for not making a sword as well when I was making original tools. Oh, chicken. But, um, I don't like swords. They don't do as much damage as the axe. And yes, they hit a lot faster than the axe, a lot less recharge time. The, t the sword, I mean, the axe, is basically a multi-purpose tool. Why waste five ingots on a separate axe and weapon, I mean, wood gathering tool and weapon, when you could use three ingots, or three blocks of stone, for one that does both purposes. Am I correct? I think so. Why don't we just grab the sapling that we had picked up originally. Alright, so yeah, we need to get back up there. And the sun's heading down soon, so we need to hurry. Alright, so yeah, get up the mountain. Mountain climbing's the tricky part. Unfortunately, there's a relatively gradual slope, a climbable slope, but it is highly steep. Oh, we missed that coal, too. I'll have to come back for it. And again, I apologize if you're experiencing a little lag. Alright, so we place a torch. Alright. Now, our crafting table. And there. Now we need one more thing, and then this place is usable. We need a door. Alright, one last step, and there we have our shelter. So yeah, not much in here right now. Um, it will get filled. Sorry. Oh, trust me. Alright, so we have a chest, some sticks, and furnace, yeah. Alright, we're definitely going to need that furnace. Compacting the coal into blocks for storage purposes. Alright, chest. Furnace, and there, we're good. Alright, so let's start putting the stuff we don't need in said chest, or we will need later, but not currently. Oh, I forgot to plant a tree. We might want to do that before it gets dark outside. And it's already getting dark, okay. Yikes! Monsters are already spawning. Alright, let's get it back inside. Back inside. I don't want to fight them right now. I'm unarmed. And I only have a wood axe. Actually, I don't know if they do more damage on bedrock. I know they do more da damage on Java than a sword. I don't know. But I still prefer the axe as a weapon. Then again, my whole channel is kind of based off of Viking. Vikings and Celts. The Vikings like swords, and the, I mean, not swords, axes. Because they're simple and easy. Alright, so we have the leather. We're not going to need... Actually, no, we are going to need those, but not quite yet. So why don't we start cooking our food, the food that we collected. It's good that we collected this food, because if we get attacked by a monster in the middle of the night, yeah, it would be bad. Especially if we couldn't eat to heal. Because you don't heal if your health bar is not full. Alright, 
And while that's cooking, I'm gonna go start making my mine shaft. And we ran into something interesting, coal ore. Alright, now we're in extreme hills biome, so when we get deep enough, we might find emeralds. Um, but I haven't found emeralds very often at all when I played when I played survival mode. And this is single player. I'm hoping to get a server soon, but for now, we gotta work with what we've got. What we've got. that there and move this torch up a block and continue tunneling in the traditional area way because I like order and there goes my pickaxe all right fortunately we have lots of cobblestone even for that little bit and we could easily make another all right so let's make two and put one in the chest just as a spare because who doesn't need a spare I might turn this into a little room later on, but for now, let's keep tunneling. Alright, just gonna get through some granite. Alright, placing our torch. Back into the stone. Alright, so I've done a bit of mining, but I have not... The sun has not risen yet. But I've gotten quite a bit down. So what I'm going to do to make my job easier is take some of the cobblestone I've gotten and make some stairs. The stairs will allow me to go up and down a lot easier, and it will not waste health points in doing so, although constructing a staircase might waste my pickaxe's durability. Alright, so the staircase is done, and we still have some stairs left over. Oh. The sun's still not coming up yet. Let's polish the granite, because why not? Might as well make this place look nice. You know what I was thinking? Alright, so I'm going to do a poll, alright? I'm thinking that, um, you know that overhang we saw over that direction? The direction I'm expanding my hut in? Um, I was thinking... As you know, I was going down and found some granite. I was thinking, why don't I mine it, polish it, and use that for the perimeter wall instead of ordinary cobblestone? Because personally, I think granite looks a lot better than cobblestone. The whole purpose of it... The whole purpose of this material was to provide a unique building material. Okay, what do you guys think? Let me know in the poll. Which I just figured out how to do. I'm very glad about that. Why can't I place a stair? That's the second time I messed it up. Okay, hold on. One second. Ah, there we go. There we go. Oh, come on! I missed a stair. Ah. Ah. Why? Right, let's fix this temporarily until I can get this new stair built. Come on. This part's the monotonous part. Do 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 do. Going up and down. Going up and down. Gonna take the most part of my video. Alright. Is the sun rising yet? No. Is the sun risen yet? Mm. Ooh, actually. No. But soon.
Is the sun risen yet? Yes, at last, the sun is rising, and <laughs> we could end this part of the video, because the sun's rising. As I said before, it's going to be a one-night thing. Fortunately, my tree has not grown yet, but this is awesome. The sun is rising, the monsters are despawning. Let's see if I can find a zombie burning up. No, uh, the spiders, they're becoming neutral again. Except this one. I attack this one because I need string. I'm really good at killing spiders. Uh, yeah, so now we just need to go out. If we find anything, like this zombie villager over here, and this drowned, we need to um, just go through and start taking them out. But that's something that you don't need to see on camera, so I hope you liked today's video. Um, subscribe if you want to see more. And, yeah, um, be sure to vote in that poll. Because um, I'm always interested in knowing what the community wants. And yeah, Total War Titan out.